Ito, nakikita nyo naman ang logo na to For sure, hindi pa kayo ganun ka-familiar sa brand na ito And magkakaroon tayo ng review for this electric scooter In 3, 2, 1, pasok intro What's up, Caballeros? Ayan, nandito na tayo ngayon para sa bago nating electric scooter review at nakikita ninyo ngayon ang bago nating electric scooter na single hub which is the MaxPev T10. Marami na rin T10 na units out there in the market but this one is from MaxPev. And Caballeros, hindi nyo ba alam na ang like ng video na to ay pinagpapala? Pero ang hindi mag-skip ng ads ay mas pinagpapala. Kaya don't skip that ads para marami kaming giveaway sa inyo for the future. So we're gonna be having the performance of this unit, physical aspects of this electric scooter, and also the pros and cons yes. from this electric scooter. So yan, full detail, real, and honest review yeah. only here on our channel. Yes, sir. And before we continue, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell para notified kayo every time na may bago tayong upload. Without further ado, let's start this. So ngayon, start na natin ang performance test. Sa performance test, meron tayong tatlo. That is the speed, the suspension, and the torque. Pinakapaborito namin gawin sa lahat. Yes, the torque tour <laughs> test. Ngayon, sisimulan na natin muna for the speed test. And here's the clip of Charles doing the speed test. Right now, We'll be testing gear 1 So ito medyo pababa tong palisada na to So let's see kung anong magiging top speed nya Alright So as you can see on the screen Kung ano yung top speed nya Not bad diba Alright Okay Again, using gear 1 Speed test uli natin Ngayon, medyo pataas naman yung road Okay So, hindi naman siya nalalayo It's almost the same Ganun naman ang packet niya Same speed Same top speed Again, this is gear 1 Alright now gear 2 Changing gear 2 Downward slope naman ulit Let's see kung ano magiging top speed nya So kung tatanungin Ano nga ba feel nito? Firstly malambot sya And uh, Stability wise Okay naman So we've already reached the top speed So kitang kita naman sa screen Kung ano yung naging top speed natin Now naman uh, Upward slope again Using Gear 2 Max Ped P10 Gear 2 Ayun Na-reach na natin agad yung Top speed nya Same na same Kung ano yung nagiging ano natin kanina Top speed Using gear 2 Alright Okay Change naman tayo into gear 3 Now we're using gear 3 Ito na yung last gear natin Check natin kung ano magiging top speed Check nyo lang yung screen Max Ped T10 gear 3 uh, Downward slope Alright So yun, kitang kita sa screen Kung ano yung naging Top speed nya Ngayon, let's see Gear 3, upward slope naman Alright So as a single hub Malakas ang torque nya 
is if I may say this is a great buy depende na lang kung ano yung budget nyo so as you can see dahil paangat nga tayo medyo bumagsak lang ng 1 uh, or 2 km per hour yung top speed but it's not bad very fast alright Thank you for watching, Caballeros. And John, mga Caballeros, nakita nyo naman ang actual speed from the overlay natin ng GPS sa ating video. So, yun yung feedback naman ni Charles on that speed test. Now, we're gonna be going naman para sa ating suspension test. Now, we're gonna be asking si Charles kung ano ang kanyang na-feel using this electric scooter for the suspensions. Well, definitely yung likod na suspension, feel na feel mo yung lambot. Actually, nagulat nga ako eh, kasi from all of the scooters na na-review ko, kailangan mo talagang talunan or apakan ng mabigat para ma-feel na gumagana or yes, nag-play yes. yung suspension. But this one, nung inapakan ko agad yung bandang likod, uy, ano, lumubog na siya agad. nag play nag-play yes, in, in a good way. When I tried to ride it, talaga, and tinalunan ko, that's uh, when I thought na okay siya ang lambot ng likod. Although, sa harap, hindi mo siya masyadong ma-feel. Almost the same from all scooters. Pero yun, ang lambot ng ano, suspension niya sa likod. Right, that's right. So yun, narinig niyo naman kung ano ang suspension niya. Well, if you ask me, nagustuhan ko rin yung suspension, yung performance ng suspension niya. And napakalambot talaga ng rear suspensions nitong electric scooter na to. Moving on tayo para naman sa ating torque test. Yeah, yeah. siyempre naman ang torque test natin, si Charles din ang nag-perform for the testing of the power naman ng hub neto, which is 1,000 watts from this electric scooter. So ngayon, malalaman natin kung ano yung lakas naman neto electric scooter from the torture test. Yeah. Alright, sa torture test, again, nagulat din ako. Kasi, from all of the scooters na na-review ko, ang daming gumabagsak dito sa <laughs> torture test. Yes. And again, this is only a single hub scooter. As you can see on the clip, nung walang buwelo, paangat, kayang-kaya. Kitang-kita. And of course, dun sa buwelo, kayang-kaya rin. In fairness naman sa mga dumarating ngayon na electric scooter for review, palakas din ang palakas actually yung mga torque. Kasi, di ba, pansin nyo naman, kung talagang kabalyero kayo sa aming channel, mapapansin nyo, yung unang mga electric scooters na nireview namin na single hub, hindi talaga pumapasa sa torture test namin. Pero ngayon, surprisingly, ang mga single hub na nakahawakan namin ngayon na electric scooter pumapasa na sa aming torture test. So, ibig sabihin, nakakatuwa lang na yung watt power and yung quality ng mga products na nakukuha natin ngayon for review, malalakas na talaga yung torque. And additional test din natin is the braking power of this electric scooter tested by Charles as well. Ayun, nung pababa. Of course, pag daling ka sa taas and uh, steep yung pababa, sobrang bilis. But then, nung pinigya ko na yung brakes pagdating sa baba, as you can see in the clip, napahinto naman ako agad. And uh, wala siyang... Fishtail. Ayun, that's a term, fishtail. Again, ano nga ba ang fishtail? Yun yung kapag nag-brake ka, eh merong... Nagwawag yung, uh, ano, yung likod. Kaya tinawag na fishtail. Parang yung fish. fish yeah, uh, gumaganong-ganon yeah. sa dulo. Kapag may skidding something sa trivia of the day yes trivia of, trivia of the day now moving on naman tayo para sa parts ng electric scooter na to pipili nga yung suggest kung anong gusto niya i-discuss alright here or here start sa taas okay so pagbaba naman muna tayo galing sa taas let's go alright since pinag-uusapan natin kanina yung brakes as you can see meron tayong mechanical brakes dito na very responsive naman and every time na magbe-brake kayo meron siyang blinking warning sa likod mga rear lights na makikita nyo and before we continue lili lipat muna tayo ng location dahil lumakas ang tugtog dito sa aming malapit na katabi. So, lilipat lang muna tayo in our next location in 3, 2, 1 Yun! Nakalipat na tayo kasi may nag aerobics kanina. So, yan. Anyways, moving on. Onting commercial break lang yan kanina. Continue na natin ang dinidiscuss ni Charles. Let's go. Okay. Sumunod tayo sa paborito ng lahat. Hindi tatakbo ang scoot kung walang trigger throttle. So, meron siyang 3 gears. 1, 2, 3. Sunod natin yung handlebar niya is also a folding type. Yeah. Counter clockwise and clockwise ang pag-ikot sa kanya. And as you can see on the clip, madali lang naman siyang i-fold. Of course, we have this horn or bell here. Honestly, para siyang ice cream. Ice Gusto cream niyo bell. marinig yung tunog ng bell na to in 3, 2, 1? Yun yung tunog yes. ng bell. Diba? Parang ice cream na uh, bell. <laughs> Binatog! <laughs> Meron siyang usual rubber uh, handlebar grips. 
para kapit pa kape. Next is sa stem. As you can see here on the stem, meron siyang lever na pwede nyo siyang i-clip on and clip off. Once na-clip off nyo siya, pwede nyo nang ibaba yung upper part ng stem para mas maging portable siya kapag dinala nyo na kung saan-saan. Meron siyang blue light sa harap. Pag gabi, kitang-kita naman siya. Sa mga minimalist dyan, at least out of the box, meron na siyang ilaw sa stem. Yes. Next is the folding mechanism. Well, as you can see on the clip, kailangan nyo lang siya i-push and then persahin pabalik para mag-fold. By fit yun ha? By fit. Yes, sir. So, it's very easy for me personally. So, let's go to the suspension sa harap. It's a monospring suspension. It has front pneumatic tires. Sir Bryce, ilang inches po ito? This is 10. 10. Okay, not bad. This has a mini headlight which what we call Eagle Eye Eagle Eye Headlights. Now, let's go to the other parts which will be continued by bus. Alright, thank you for that. So, after the folding mechanism, we are going to the deck itself. Now, for the deck itself, gusto ko yung lapad niya. And gusto ko rin yung haba niya. Actually, it kind of reminds me of the VX2400 that I'm using. But, it's a bit slim lang ng onte. But, on the width itself, gusto ko siya. Next one. Ay, sorry sir. Ah, yes. Matanong ko lang. Do you think madali lang siyang lagyan ng acrylic deck sa mga nagpa-customize dyan? Ay, naman. Madaling madali lang lagyan ng acrylic deck to, especially yung pagkakagawa ng deck niya, wala siya masyadong mga nakaangat. So, once na pinatungan to, madali siyang sukatin. And marami na rin nakagawa niyan sa ating electric scooter community. Marami na rin nakapagpagawa ng acrylic deck for this size of an electric scooter. Kung gusto niyang malaman ang mga customized design ng ilaw for your electric scooter, click the i button here. Yan. So we made a vlog about the night lights where you can customize your electric scooter according to your preference. Nice. Now moving on tayo, meron din dalawang eagle eye lights din to. Katulad nung nasa front, meron man dalawang white eagle eye sa harap on the side. And meron din dalawang eagle eye na pula sa likod. Moving on to the back. After the rear light, doon naman tayo sa suspension niya. Yun nga, as mentioned earlier, napakaganda ng performance. This is a dual suspension. Yeah. For the fender, kitang-kita nyo naman na hindi mo na kailanganin ng tire hugger for mm -hmm. this one kasi sobrang nakahug na rin yung fender niya. And it's a good thing para no more wet wet. wet. Yes. Rear mechanical brakes. The hub is placed sa likod. And also, the tires is 10 inches. Kapareho lang no front tires. Yes, sir. Moving on naman tayo para sa pros and cons. And syempre, ito rin yung hinihintay ninyo kung ano yung nakikita namin pros from this electric scooter at kung ano rin yung needs ng improvement for this electric scooter. Mm -hmm. Magpapalitan kami ni Charles ng kada pros namin and kada cons namin para sa inyo mga kabalyeros. And Charles will be starting off for the first pros. Sa dami ng pro, pili tayo ng isa. Okay, alam ko na. Sabi ni Bryce, single hub ito. Pero yes. honestly, when I first tried it, para ako naka-dual hub. That's the first pro. I agree. Yes. How about you? Other pros? As mentioned earlier, nagustuhan ko yung lapan ng deck niya. Yung weed. And yun nga, comfortable siyang sakyan dahil sakot ng deck yung pa ako. So, kasa yung pa ako whether the stats is like this, like this, or like this. So, good siya. For me, that's a pro. For the next pro, sabi namin kanina, adjustable yung stem. Yes. Okay to. Hindi nyo na kailangan mag-alala kung maliit kayo or matangkad. It's adjustable. So, according to your preference, pwede nyo adjust yung taas ng stem. Yes. Sa maraming veteran scooter riders kasi pag tumatagal, yun ang napapansin nila. Parang nahirapan na akong lumukuha, nahirapan na akong itaas. So, ngayon pa lang, hindi nyo naaalalahanin kahit dito nyo ilagay or dito. It's gonna be easy because it's adjustable. Okay. okay. Next pros, please. Moving on sa next pros. For me, ang pinaka gusto ko ring i-highlight para dito sa electric scooter nito is the suspension. Yeah. So yung rear suspension niya somehow reminds me of Ultron Mini kasi malambot din yung suspension ng Ultron Mini. Rear suspension ng Ultron Mini. Kaya yun din yung nagugustuhan ko dito kasi malambot din yung rear suspension niya. And it gives me enough comfort Lalo na sa luba, kanina kasi nung nirarag namin, syempre nasa Pilipinas tayo, mm -hmm. we cannot expect na sobrang smooth ng daanan. Yung purpose ng suspension niya, gamit na gamit, when it comes to riding comfort, have my word for it, napaka-comfortable gamitin itong electric scooter due to its suspension. Yeah. Moving on to the next one. 
kanina habang nagbe-breakfast kami ni Bryce, sabi niya, yung controller nito is very much responsive. Yes. Once na pinipindot niya yung throttle. Just to agree with Charles lang, napaka-responsive talaga ng throttle niya. Onting piga, gagalaw agad siya. And dun sa pinakasagad din ng throttle niya, may dadagdag pa yung speed niya. So, it's a very very good throttle controller. Right. Okay, so for me, this is the last pros that I've noticed from this electric scooter. Isa sa mga nagustuhan ko rin sa kanya is yung torque power niya. Well, we cannot ask for more because 1,000 watts na yung hub nito, And kinaya niya kami i-uphill sa ating yung torque chore ng walang pwelo. Single hub ang nakaka-appear. Yes, so yan. So it's a very, very good single hub electric scooter when it comes to torque and power. Yan. Pag pinagsama, torque. <laughs> I think this would also fall under the pro category. For me, it's very minimalist. Yes. So, it's up to you kung gusto nyo stock lang siya. And madali rin siyang i-customize as you wish. Siguro overall na lang for the pros, napaka-comfortable niya talagang gamitin. Mm. Sabi ko nga kay Chos kanina, if I would be given a chance to downgrade from an electric oh. scooter ng single hub, gugustuhin ko na siya eh. Kasi it almost got everything na kakilanganin ko in a basic electric scooter na not so slow but not so heavy. Mm. Nandito na yung power, nandito na yung battery capacity niya, and nandito rin yung speed. So, hindi lang siya kayang iakit ka, kaya niya rin bumilis. Right. Nakita niya naman kanina sa speed test natin. Yun yung summary ng overall pros ng electric scooter na to. And of course, pupunta na tayo ngayon sa cons ng electric scooter, okay. starting off for the first con from Charles. Alright. First con, for me, yung, ano, yung bell. Lalo na kung mabilis yung scooter mo, kailangan marinig ka nung yes. mga kotse. Correct, correct, correct. Hindi naman sila bibili ng ice cream. Mm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ang binatog. <laughs> Next ko naman for me is the rear part. Kasi yung rear part nung fender niya, it's just a reflector. It's not uh, connected as a brake light. So for me, I consider dito sa con, it could be better kung naka rear light siya. Na naka park light siya kapag sa gabi. So, that's my first con for this electric scooter. Moving on. Alright. For the next one, continue with the lights. Ang kanyang front headlights. Uh, nabanggit natin kanina, it's an eagle eye. Again, eagle eye, maliit lang siya. So, for me, siguro sa gabi, it could have been better. You could buy aftermarket uh, lights, pero uh, out of the box, it could be better. Medyo uh, mahina lang siya as a stoplight. But can I somehow disagree? Sure. Partly disagree lang naman ako kasi nakatulong actually yung third eagle eye niya in front. Yeah. Um, we cannot consider that as a really part as a headlight. So, ang pinaka-cons niya siguro is wala siyang headlight. Oh, yeah. But dun sa pinaka-baba, tumutulong yung nasa gitna niyang eagle eye para mas lumiwanag yung pinakamalapit lang na front the space, front road, yan. Kasi three eagle eyes in work kapag sa gabi. So, para sa akin, it's a mix of pros and cons. Mm -hmm. eh. So, ang pros niya is tatlong eagle eye sa harap, which is brighter, but wala siyang headlight. Yeah. So, yun yung cons niya. So, yeah. Moving on naman tayo for the next con. For me, the next con will be the monospring suspension in front. As mentioned earlier, yun na. Wala siya masyadong play. So, before we proceed to the question of the day, alam kong hinihintay niyong lumabas sa aming mga bibig ito. Yes, this is a look-alike electric scooter of 010. Uy. And just for the knowledge of everyone, we know for sure na mas kilala niyo ang brand ng Zero. And this is the same exact specs Ooh. of 010. But, ito yung selling point ng electric scooter na to. You know what that is? Ah, uh, wala ko. Hindi, hindi ko, ko talaga sure yung mga kabila. <laughs> wala ko, wala ko. Price? Price? Yes. Ay, yun. So, yung selling point na ito is yung price. Kasi kung pa rin naman silang specs at built ng electric scooter, bakit ka magsisettle for something na more expensive if you have the option naman na nice. mas affordable. So, this is more affordable than the 010. Nice. Alam ko namang itatanong nyo rin yan sa comment section, sinagot ko na sa video na to. <laughs> And kung ilalaban natin yung after sales service, I can vouch for the MaxPev na they have a good quality after sales service. Alright. So, yeah. What more can you ask for? This is it. And if you want to know more about the details of where you can find this electric scooter, check out their Facebook page on MaxPev Facebook page. M-A-X space P-E-V. MaxPev. We'll put the link here down in the description box. Yes. Below. Para di na kayo mahirapan, di nyo na kailangan i-search pa, click nyo na lang yung link sa description para sa Facebook page ng MaxPev. Siyempre, gusto nyo malaman kung magkano ang electric scooter na to. This electric scooter costs only 
Wala natin ulit. Hindi, <laughs> uh, nabanggit na nila kanina sa breakfast to. Eh. Kala ko na nalala mo. 48,000? Yes, yes. Oh. Yan. So, nalala nga. 48,000 ang electric scooter na to. Of course, nandito na naman tayo sa exclusive discount. So, hindi pwedeng may review kami nang wala kayong benefit from our channel. So, if you bought this using the unique code Max Bryce 10. Here's the spelling. Yan. At alam nyo ba kung magkano ang discount na makukuha ninyo? Sa akin ba? Magkano? <laughs> Wag sa'yo? Oo. Oh. Kapareho nila. <laughs> okay. So magkano? Magkano? Hindi lang naman 1, hindi rin 2, lalong hindi 3, kundi 5? 5% of the price of this electric scooter. Kumpiti natin mga madam, mga sir. Ayan, ikaw kumpit na ni Charles para sa inyo kung magkano ang discount ninyo using our unique code. Uy! Minus 2,400 pesos. You heard it right. It's 2,400 pesos less sa 48,000 pesos. So imagine, affordable electric scooter na to. May discount pa kayo kung galing kayo sa aming channel. So, Kumpitin na natin para sa inyo. 45,600 would be the discounted price if you would use, again, the max price 10 code. Yes, so yun yung code natin, unique code for this electric scooter. Freely use this code kapag nag na kayo sa MaxPev Facebook page. And syempre, dahil nasabi na namin kung anong kaparehas ng electric scooter na to, hindi na namin yun itatanong. And for our question of the day, Sulit na ba sa inyo mga kabalyeros ang price na 45,600 basis sa napanood nyo today? Write down in the comments below. And yung price na yun, only here from our channel. By using... The code Max Price 10. And that's, that's it, it for, for today, today Caballeros. See, See you on the next one. Peace. Another thing that I would like to add, again, uh, again, it's again, oh, again, 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 <laughs> <laughs> again, 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 mga Caballeros. So I would like Word to add. Word of the day, again. <laughs> we would like to add. For the next pro, um, Alright! <laughs> <laughs>